Okay, that's what I'm going to find here. We are going to calculate this. We have log base 3 of log base 3 of 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3. And then over log base 3 to the 3. And then inside here, we have 3 to the 3 to the 3. And as you all know, when you have this kind of notation, you have to work this out first and use that as a new power and then do this to that power and so on. But anyway, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, I will tell you guys that the answer to this right here is equal to 25. Very nice answer. And I would like to show you guys my favorite way of calculating logarithms. So it's just a real nice and cute question right here. Anyway, we are going to start off inside out, of course. So let's look at this right here. This is log base 3, and then we have 3 as the base to whatever this exponent is, right? And of course, we can cancel them out nicely. And let me just write them down for you guys of the things that I'm using along the way. First, when you have log and whatever base right here that you have, and if the input right here is the same base, and if you raise this to an exponent, let's say m, this right here is nicely equal to this power, m, because you can just cancel out the log base b and this b right here. So that's exactly what we can use right here inside. Log base 3 can be cancelled out with that 3. So let's just write this down. We still have the log base 3 all the way in the front. And then on the top, we will have 3 to this 3 to this 3, like this. And then let's look at the denominator. Be careful though. The base of this log is 3 to the 3, namely 27. But if you look at the inside, we have 3 to the 3 to the 3. Well, how can we calculate that? Well, don't worry, I will show you. So here is the other property that I'm going to use for you guys. So here's the deal. We are pretty lucky because this 3 still match with that 3. So here's the property. When you have log base b, but this time suppose you have b to some power, uh, we'll just put this down as n. And then if you have this, and the input is b to the m's power like this. When you have this situation, it's just this power over that power, namely m over n. So that's pretty much it. But of course, I'll show you guys a quick proof for it, all right? So don't worry too much. So here's the deal. Remember, in order for you to cancel things out nicely, this has to be the same as that, right? The base right here has to be the same as that. So this is what we can do. Check this out. I can write this down as log, I will still keep this as the base, b to the n like this, but instead of b to the m inside, I will show you guys. I will purposely write this as b to the n, because I want this to happen so that they can cancel it out. But the problem is, well, this is actually m, not n. So what can we do? Don't worry, I can just raise this to the m over n power, because when I multiply this with that, the powers, the n's will cancel each other out, right? So this is actually the same as that. So you see this base, b to the n and b to the n, they actually match. So you can cancel them out. So of course, this is the same as m over n. And just pay attention right here. This is like the n that we have right here. Right? And then this right here is like our M. Right? So what I'm going to do is it's going to be 3 to the third power for the M and then over this N, which is the 3. So that's pretty much the idea. And now let's see. We don't have any more logarithms inside of the logarithm, so that's nice. And we still have this logarithm on the outside, but this is a big quotient, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to apply the logarithms as log base 3 of the top, namely 3 to the 3 to the 3, and then minus log base 3, and then inside here, depends on how you want to write this down. This is 3 to the 3 over 3. You can actually just work that out, right? Because this is just 27, over 3, which is just simply 9. So you can just say this is 9. 
So the inside is just nine. And up to you, seriously, how do you want to do it? Now, here is just cancel it out. So you have uh, 3 to the third power, which is 27. And minus, if you would like, you can write this down as 3 to the second power, because you could have just done 3 to the 3 over 3 to the first, which is 3 to the second. So I think that's slightly nicer, because I like to do this today. So this right here is just 2. And this right here, if you would like, let's put down 3 to the 3 just to impress people, which is 27. Nothing to be too impressed. Anyway, 27 minus 2. This is how we get a 25. Anyway, that's it.